for case three, we have the same history as we had on the previous case. This is a 70-year-old man with Parkinsonian symptoms. On the left, we have an axial flare. On the right, we have an axial T2. Here we have a coronal flare, also through the midbrain ponds. Now onto your question, what is the most likely diagnosis? Question B, the radiologic sign associated with this disease is named after? So case three is a case of multi-system atrophy. And there are multiple subtypes of this disease, some of which affect the cerebellum uh, to a greater extent, some of which cause autonomic symptoms to a greater extent, and some of which have a more Parkinsonian symptom. Uh, the classic description is the MSAC or the cerebellar one, uh, where you'll see the uh, hot cross bun sign. Uh, what you'll have typically is atrophy of the pons and medulla. Uh, you can get vermin and cerebellar atrophy as well. And uh, then an additional sign that's not shown in this case, but which you can sometimes see, is this uh, decreased volume and increased T2 around the patamen, uh, where you have a hyperintense rim there. But there's a lot of overlap between these different subtypes. The radiologic sign for this disease is named after food, as we already talked about the hot cross bun. So here you have a picture of some hot cross buns. This is from Wikimedia. Uh, what you have is this T2 hyperintensity, which crosses the pons. It looks very similar to the frosting on top of these buns. Uh, here you see our case, uh, what you have is this cruciform T2 hyperintensity uh, within the ponds. You could read more about hot cross bonds on Wikipedia if you choose. Uh, hot cross bonds are this uh, sweet bun associated with the UK, Australia, New Zealand, kind of more British territories. There's a lot of history associated with hot cross bonds, including keeping them for medicinal purposes. Uh, if you take it on a sea voyage, uh, they protect against shipwreck and they protect against fires and make sure your breads turn out perfectly. Uh, so just use that to uh, help you remember this disease.